What's up, y'all? I am back with another video, baby. So, it's your girl, Glenna McKenzie. Hey, how you doing? So, if you missed my video, bitch, I am like the Stars app. I am like the MTV app. You can go back and watch the videos that you missed, okay? So, last week I gave you guys a video, well, a review slash makeup haul of some things that I have got prior to that day. And I wanted to share with you guys some type of views I thought about it or some type of opinions I had on it. Today video is going to be your makeup do's and don'ts, a weave do's and don'ts, okay? So, but before we get right into this video, I want you to like up and subscribe. And I also want to tell you guys that this video is not to bash anyone, it's not to embarrass anybody. It's just to give you some tips and some helps and some pointers on makeup and the weave, okay? But before we get right into it, y'all, I just want to shout out this weave company, Ash Mary, like... For real, they gave me like a whole pamphlet, they gave me some bogus ass eyelashes, but it's okay, okay? I would have preferred the curlers, but it's fine if y'all couldn't give me the curlers, it's what it is, what it is. But anyways, I just want to thank you guys for that, and let's just get right into this video, y'all. Glenetta gang, 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 gang. Sorry gang, I just put the camera. Okay, so first things first, we are going to talk about eyebrows. Now eyebrows is the, 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 it just brings everything to just life, okay? If your eyebrows are not on fleek, it's just, it's really super a problem. Like it's super a problem. Okay, so first things first, drawing in your eyebrows. Now when you're drawing your eyebrows, you want them to shape the way your eyebrows are shaped. I am sick of girls doing that zigzag motion. Not the pretty zigzag motion when you have your your eye this your eyelids matching, but I have seen like a lot of women drawing their eyebrows either they draw too tiny or I'll just insert a picture to show y'all, okay, what not to do. Don't do that. Now, what you want to do is take your pencil and shape it as going with your eyebrows your eyebrows going, okay? Do not add no extra design. Don't add no uh, extra loop-de-loop. -loop. Don't add no extra heel. Don't add no zigzags. Like, make sure it's lined up with your eyebrows. And also the color. The color is like the main point. So if you're going to add brown, I've seen a lot of girls wear brown and it looks right, okay? Because their eyebrows is not that dark and they're not that light. But don't try to do brown when your eyebrows are super dark already and super thick already. That's not okay, like... What are you doing? Okay, well, what are you doing? So, also, when doing eyebrows, I also notice a lot of girls do that freaking, it's an oval right here, and then they take it up, arch, and then do, like, that backwards Nike sign type thing, but it's not even a Nike sign. It's like a loop-de-loop -loop Nike sign. <sighs> Stop, baby. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Make sure that your eyebrows right here is not too dark and squared. Like, make sure you blend in your Anastasia, your eyebrow pencil, your dollar store pencil, any type of pencil you use, anything you use. Make sure it's blended in. Do not, I repeat, do not just draw it and just think you well, you good to go. Bitch, it don't work that way. No. Concealing! Okay, so concealing is like what gets your eyebrow to look fleeky, okay? Sometimes you can get away with the drawing if you have a nice concealed eyebrow now a lot of okay when i okay let me just tell you my, my little experience with concealer so when i was first starting concealer i used to do like this type of unibrow thing i don't know what i thought i was doing i was concealing for one i had the concealer way too lighter than my skin okay that is another problem for another day but anyways i had it too light for one and then i had this like whole concealer unibrow thing going and i was just like i thought i was the stuff i was like oh i'm slay yeah like what's up like that but no bitch it was just looking a mess and i remember my one friend came to me she's like girl let me help you i was like what bitch i look fleek like what are you why are you touching my eyebrows but then i went home and you know i started you know watching videos and i'm like why does instagram bitches have their eyebrows like this like what am i doing so yeah make sure that you're Concealer matches a little bit close to your skin tone or, or your skin tone if you prefer to look more natural. And stop having that unibrow shit right here. That's not okay. Wipe that shit off. That's not cute. Now, now we're going to discuss highlight. Ooh, highlight. 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 Okay, so highlight. When you have on highlight, you know, you want to put it here. You want to put it there. You want to put it uh, here. You want to put it here. You want to put it here. 
And if you're really bold, you're going to put it here and put it here. Now, which is fine. If you want your whole face to be lit up, okay. You lit, bitch. You lit. Okay, I get it. But stop putting on too much. Now, y'all females, sometimes y'all want to use pink, orange, green, turquoise, whatever color y'all want to use right here, right? And it just be so much here that it flows on to here, and then you put some here. It just be too much, like too much highlight. Female, like stop putting on too much highlight. Take a little bit off, okay? Your highlight should not be glowing in the dark, okay? It should not be... When you in a darkened classroom, your highlight is, ooh, and then somebody tell your highlight popping. No, that means you got too, too much highlight. Your highlight should be popping with the sun. The sun should be beaming, and you should be like, mm, like, I look at bleed. Like, what's up? My highlight looking off bleed. You should not be in the dark watching a presentation and your highlight going. Not okay. Absolutely not okay. Okay? Now, to fix that problem, we have a wifty brush. Now, those wifty brushes, they might seem like it doesn't put on enough highlight, but you can double dip. Duh. So when I use that, I usually just dip it and then I put it on and then I take the light and I look like, okay, is it shining? If it's not shining in the light, I dip it and I take a little bit more and then I make sure I turn off my light a little bit, dim my light and then look at it again and make sure it's not too much on. That's what you got to do because you don't want to have too much highlight on and you just look pitiful like that. That's not okay. But... He, he do have a cute Instagram though, but boo, that's a little bit too much highlight. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Next is going to be eyelashes. Now, me personally, sometimes I don't wear fake out false eyelashes. Sometimes I just wear mascara and call it a day because you just have to, honestly, in my opinion, you have to have on some type of foundation. I mean, not foundation. Some type of uh, eyeliner or. Um, mascara because you're uh you start to look dead and you don't want to look dead walking around looking dead so i prefer to use that on my face personally if i don't have eyelashes i just use that so eyelashes now i'm about to blast nobody but i seen this one female i'm gonna tell y'all i seen her and me and her was talking and i was just looking at her we just talking this female has the audacity to have glue clumped on her eyelashes two pairs on and have it clumped up I was looking at her like, is that how we really, that's what we're doing now, bitch? Like, it's like, okay. Like, it's time for my eyelashes to go. Like, if your eyelashes throwing up gang signs, like, I'm literally talking about like this. Like, they like this and they curling up and just, yeah, it's time for them to go. Like, let the eyelashes go. Buy you some new ones. Like, there's a lot of websites that sell them. Like, seriously, you can find eyelashes anywhere. Stop getting the cheap kind, okay? Eyelashes, if you want to be able to take care of eyelashes, you don't want to keep throwing them away, you got to not buy the cheap kind, okay? You got to buy the expensive. You got to buy the ones that are like $2 and up, okay? That dollar and below is just... No. Unless they have like a little sale thing or whatever, whatever. But yeah, what is one... If you want to re... Okay, you reusing eyelashes is okay. I know a lot of girls at school be always asking me like, can you reuse eyelashes? Yeah, you can. So all you do is take your eyelash, take your tweezers, take off that old glue, okay? Take your, I usually take my mascara brush that I don't use anymore and then I wet it. The one that's like really clean, I wet it. And then I just go like this and brush them out to clean off the excess glue and the uh, excess mascara that was already on it. That's how you can reuse your eyelashes. But you can't reuse them all the time because not all the time that, that method is going to work. Sometimes it's just going to be like, um, very like. I don't know how to explain it. Like, your eyelashes is, is going to start to, like, fold and do weird things. It's just not going to look right, okay? So, yes, you may use, you can reuse eyelashes, okay? Now, next thing next, foundation. We are in 2017. Females, why is our foundation not matching our skin? Like, why? Now, y'all know I only mess with Fit Me. And uh, MAC, I do not fuck with L'Oreal. Everybody knows I do not mess with L'Oreal. I don't like their foundation. They're trifling. They lie to me. I don't mess with them. But yeah, there's other kinds. Girl, find your color. Like, find, if you got to mix and match, find your color. Stop having that. Girl, you look like a ghost. Like, it's just, we just need a moment, y'all. Because bitches really. Females is really still wearing foundation that don't match their skin color. Let's just take a moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
stop doing that. Okay. <laughs> okay, next thing's next. Concealing underneath here. Now, sometimes I don't do it. Sometimes I do do it. You and I do it all the time. It don't matter. But let me just tell you something. If you're going to put on concealing right here, make sure it's a little bit close to your, a little bit lighter than your foundation. Do not make it look white. Like, we should not be able to see the creases, lines that are right here. Okay? We should not. We, we really should not be able to see that. That is not okay. Like, I don't know where are we doing that at. What tutorial did you watch? Who told you that looks okay? I don't know. But I'm going to tell you, we're not doing that no more, baby. It is 2017, bitch. It's slay all year long, okay? It's not no halfway slay, partially slay. It's slay all year long, okay? So if you have a problem with that, you know, this is a little bit too light. Honestly, you could just take your foundation color and dab a little bit of your foundation on it and then blend that together. And I'm telling you, it would just come out so good. It would be... It would just be so good. If you have a problem with it being too light or whatever that situation is. Next things next is eyeshadow. I particularly don't wear eyeshadow like that. I don't know how to do it correctly. I don't know how to. One thing I really have been practicing is cut the crease. But usually I don't know how to do um, eyeshadow. So I don't really mess with it. But I do see a lot of messed up eyeshadow. Now, I see girls with, like, bomb eyeshadow. Like, I'll be like, girl, oh, my gosh, you need to do my for prom, homecoming, birthday. Like, you're going to slay my eyelids, okay? And there'll be them some people that's just so lazy that they just. Oh, but then they want the white stuff inside there. Oh, let me just call it a day. And then they got it all flow. They, they eyeshadow flowing all the way over here. No, baby, we never got the, no, baby, girl. Okay, so what, that is old school way. You know, old school way, they had those little oval-sized brushes that's like this, and you just take it and just, no. Now we got those brushes that you just smooth it in, girl, blend. Blend, I cannot stress that enough, okay? Let me just give y'all a million-dollar advice. When doing makeup, make sure everything blends together. That is the ultimate tip. Make sure everything blends, okay? everything not your eyelashes bitch but they could blend in a little bit if you put mascara on them okay so yeah make sure everything blends i am done with makeup because <sighs> i just gave you all the tips and the main points oh lipstick when you're doing lipstick okay black girls i know i know y'all got this whole vibe that we can wear any color which is fine okay i understand i understand i understand, I understand. but sometimes y'all just gotta realize you can't wear it okay you just can't so Pink lipstick. Now, pink is a nude color for Mexicans, white people, Asians, Chinese, Vietnamese, Puerto Rican, whatever, okay? If you are brown skin, dark skin, or like a dark color shade, stop putting on pink lipstick, that super light pink lipstick, like it's really going to be nude on you. That is not nude for you. Nude for you is brown. When I wear nude, I wear brown. I do not go put on none of that pink stuff. Like, your lips look ashy. Like, you look like you just had powdered donuts. You just had powdered donuts. Like, no, stop wearing that. And I'm going to need, whoever made the lipstick company, y'all need to put on some black girl nude colors. Like, I'm sick and tired of these pink nudes. Like, I literally ordered three off of, um... Anastasia, I'm thinking it's gonna look popping. I put it on, my lips look the ashy, y'all. I was just like, okay, bet, bet. And then that Kylie Jenner too. I put on the, uh, it's like this like light brown. I'm thinking, okay, I'm dark skin. I'm, well, I'm like, I'm like a mixture of dark skin and brown skin. I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna blend in my skin well. It's gonna look nudie. And then all of a sudden, I just, it's just, no, you just don't do it. Just don't do it. Weave. Okay, now it's time for weave. Sorry, y'all. My little lighting is a little bit. It be tweaking sometimes because I I'm using natural lighting. So yeah. So now it's time for weave. Now, when it comes to weave, it's like a trial and error. Okay. We have body wave. We have Brazilian. We have uh, deep wave. Uh, synthetic. Uh, premium human hair. Human hair. Rim me. Virgin rim me. Uh, curly straight. Uh, different type of curls. You know, we have different things. Wandy curls, swirl curls, deep curls. Like, we have everything, okay, for weave. Now, when wearing weave, you need to make sure... I cannot stress this enough. I cannot stress this enough. Like... <laughs> uh, 
your top of your head should be matching all the way down to to at least here. There's no reason why your color of the top of your head should not be matching this. Like, I'm going to start a picture, y'all. Just, we're going to pray for her. Okay. This should be matching this. Okay, period, point blank. Period. Like, period. That I cannot just say enough. I cannot. There should be no reason why the top of your head is not matching the bottom right here. There should be no reason why you got this inch left to leave out and you wearing you trying to fly on it. Stop. And then they have the then the girl, the girls be having the nerve to put some gel like this. Take the gel and just no, we are not doing that, okay? If you cannot have leave out our girl, you better braid them going back and put you a uh, frontal on or something. Like, I'm not about to play with y'all. Stop doing that. That is not cute. That is just not cute. Now I know you. I know you. I know you girls want like a different texture of hair. You guys, I understand because I be I be wanting a different texture of hair. I want my hair to be like curly sometimes or straight, or whatever. Get a frontal. If your real hair do not match this, get a frontal. Get a front toe. Get a front toe, okay? Hashtag get a front toe, okay, guys? Get a front toe. <laughs> okay, next things next, stiff weave. I'm not about to play with y'all stiff weave. I'm not about to play with y'all stiff weave. Now, stop with the stiff weave, okay? Throw it away. If your weave is stiff, throw it away. Let it go, okay? Like, I remember I was in the class and I seen this girl hair and she had a ponytail and it was like a pitchfork just and she just thought she was the stuff and then it was all natted up up here I was like bitch is this really what y'all is this really was this really what 2017 come to I'm finna wear my weave all year long and another year and another year and another year and another year don't get me wrong there is some weave that you can wear for a year long but if it's synthetic baby no no. And what I'm going to tell you is if you have synthetic weave, and I know, I know weave is like kind of on a budget because it's expensive hair. I understand. Some people ain't, you know, don't want to spend that much money on hair, which is fine. But if you're going to do that, get the premium human hair. Or if you do decide to get some synthetic curly hair, put some, con uh, some um, conditioner in it and condition it. Because the curls will, not only will they go back, they'll be moisturized, but they will kind of start forming their shape of the curls again. And really cut off the access of the the part that's like really scrunched up. Cause I hate it. I hate it when girls have curly hair and then they decide to put it in a bun like this. Like and it's just nappy and it's just natted up and just oh god. Like, oh god. But like I said, we've been trial and error. You know, this is my first time doing a, a lace front a 360 lace front tool. And I I mean I feel like it went pretty well, I guess. I don't know. It's my first time doing that. So yeah, weave is trial and error. There's no, I can't really give y'all specifics, but all I can tell you is, if that weave is stiff, throw it away. Throw it away. If that weave is stiff, throw it away. Throw it away. If your weave is stiff, throw it away. Let it go. I'm just saying, let that weave go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, anyways. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. You know, be grateful. Like DJ Kelly said, be great. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I nobody hurt nobody's feelings, make people cry. Because I don't want nobody to be pressed up after this. Like, it was just to help, honestly. I'm not perfect at everything I do, but, you know, I really work on it. I try. And, you know, like I said, it's a trial and error. But it's just some things. It's just common sense. You know, you get me? But yeah. Team G, if you got any requests, I want y'all to... Drop it below or email me because I'll be leaving my email in the description box. I'll be leaving my weave in the description box. I will be leaving a lot of stuff in the description box. And a lot of things, okay? Just a lot of things. You got to go look. But yeah. Like this video. Subscribe. Show your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your mama. Tell your daddy. Tell your uncle. Tell your cousin. Hey. All right. Peace.